Hey, my naturalistas, it's Sheridan with the coily hair, and I'm here showing you a video of how I just did my twist out. I do not do twist outs often, so it seems like every time I try it again, it's like I'm learn learning a new skill because I forget what I did the last time, and I basically feel like I have to start over from scratch. But I hope that even me saying that gives you confidence that it just takes practice and it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you know you get the technique down using the right products and you're working with your hair in the end result honestly I pulled my hair up because I just didn't like how it looked just as the full twist out but that's me and I wanted to show you the products that I was using too because what I'm most passionate about are the ingredients inside of these products and the particular products that I was using was from a line called reclaim your crown and I was very very excited about testing out these products they are jam-packed with beneficial ingredients that could pretty much work for every natural and so I was very excited to try it on my hair this is the end result and I'm really loving how my hair feels it's very juicy it seems very um, separated and moisturized and I'm pleased with this second attempt the first attempt was not the best but that was also because my technique was not the best so I took it serious the second time and it turned out much better <laughs> now you can get to these products by going to blacknaps.org not .com blacknaps.org and it is the reclaim your crown line and if you stay tuned I'll go through what I did in each step of the process and give you a little more information about the products and see if you want to test it for yourself So I will be using products from the Reclaim Your Crown line that you can find on blacknaps.org. I began my twist out with the Honey Coconut Milk Leave-In Conditioner and applied a good amount to all sections of my hair before I began twisting. Before I got started, I made sure my hair was freshly detangled and separated into sections to make it easier. The first time, I did not do that and my twist out turned out horribly. So I suggest you make it easier on yourself, especially as a beginner, and separate your hair into sections. From bigger sections, I separated my hair into small sections to twist. For the twisting cream, I used the coconut milk twisting cream. That's the name of it. I was so pleasantly surprised with this product. Not only does it literally smell like vanilla icing, it's jam-packed with beneficial ingredients like glycerin, honey, olive oil, avocado oil, xanthan gum, gargum, and a bunch of others that I definitely recognize and use in my hair, but I can't quite pronounce. <laughs> I'll include the, the list of them in the description. But the ingredients are what make the product, so be sure to always observe what you're using and what's working. I decided to do the two strand twist. You guys, I do not do twist outs hardly ever. <laughs> I rock my wash and goes all the time. So every time I attempt to twist out again, it's like I'm starting over from scratch and I barely know what I'm doing. So have the confidence to know that you don't have to be a guru. Just set yourself up for success by following the technique. All right. My parts weren't perfect or symmetrical by any means, but that didn't matter because my hair was going to be separated the next day. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's best to lather on the product into your hair as you continue to twist. If you, if you can see the product on your twist when you finished, good. It's moisturized and that product will soak into your hair as it dries, giving you great moisture that should last for a few days. Close off your twist by twisting the ends around your fingers in the natural way that it would curl. Trust me, it shouldn't come undone. If it does, it may mean your twist is a little too large. And do that and repeat. 
I only did two twists in this section of the video to show you how it's done because it's easier for me as a rookie to look intensely in the mirror versus in the camera. <laughs> I think that's where I went wrong the first time. So now it's time for the takedown. I waited pretty much a full 24 hours. Every natural will be different when it comes to how long it takes for their hair to dry, however. But of course, you can speed up the process by sitting under a dryer. When I counted my twists, I did a total of 11. That may vary from every natural depending on how thick your hair is. I have very fine hair. Um, and to take them out, I basically reversed the way I twisted them the day before. Don't try to yank them apart or anything like that by pulling it from the top or pulling it from the middle. Start from the bottom. Don't yank them apart because you'll be creating frizz. And once you've untwisted one, go ahead and separate it by running your finger down your twist and observing where your hair naturally separates and use that as a guide. This should be the easy part. And voila! Style your hair as desired once you've separated everything and you are pleased with how it looks and you've created the volume that you want. I promise if I can do it, you can do it. I decided to put half of my hair up and half down and stick a little flower pin in it. And I'm beyond pleased with this Reclaim Your Crown line. These products are just as important as the technique. You just can't have one without the other. So I definitely recommend these specific products a thousand times. And the links to them will be in my bio. So good luck, girl. I know you can do it. <laughs>